as Dale in motion across the formation to make it a trips right. McMahon against a four-man rush. Pocket breaking down, and McMahon is sacked. That's Courtney McBride, the outside linebacker. Asked the coaches to make him a wide receiver. On first and 10, play action. McMahon deep down the middle. That is caught by his tight end. Or rather, uh, that's number two, Rosner. And Bradley Rosner is off to the races. Touchdown, Rice. So another third down for the Owls, another third and six. Blitz coming, and Perry is sacked. That'll be Josh Percy, four and a half sacks now. Cameron Montgomery, the running back. Play action from McMahon. Throws over the middle. Rosner is open again, and he'll get out to the 40-yard line. Montgomery has a hole to the right. It's well blocked. There goes Montgomery. Finally run down by T.J. Young at the FAU 40-yard line. Fake to Broussard. Plenty of time for McMahon throwing down the middle, and it's caught. And it's still going to the 13-yard line. That's Rosner again. Broussard again. This time powers toward the goal line and in for the touchdown. Ari Broussard from the 22. This is Johnny Ford with his first carry of the game. Ford past midfield, forced out at the Rice 45 yard line. Johnny Ford, who was the explosive play guy last year. First and goal from the five. Marvin Landy in as an H-back. They'll give it to McCammon. He cuts back and he's easily into the end zone for a touchdown. We have an owl in the end zone. Larry McCammon's third rushing touchdown of the season. McMahon, pocket collapsing, and he's going to be sacked. Second sack of the night for FAU. Marlon Bradley and Courtney McBride combining on the sack. Bradley, Bradley number 95, McBride number 51. Between a high defender and a low defender in a cover two situation. Marcus Williams, number four, actually broke up the pass and might have cost Nyquil an interception. Nikosi Perry on the quarterback draw loses the ball and he's going the wrong direction all the way back to the FAU 30 yard line, blown up right from the start. Blitz coming and they got him. Jamie Petway, his first sack as an owl, and the third for FAU on the night. Todd Orlando said, enough of this, of him sitting back in the pocket. We're going after him. McMahon, 7 of 15 for 164 yards and a touchdown. Connors in motion. McMahon reloads, trying to get away from McBride and does. McMahon still racing to the sideline, and that ball is intercepted or caught. It's an interception. Smoke Hunton with the pick. And the Owls have a turnover with 2.21 left to go in the first half. From 34. Snap is good, hold is good, and the kick is also good. So with 8, 8.28 left to go in the third quarter. A yeah, very crucial play here. They need to get some points, touchdown preferred. Perry, protection's good this time, hits Wester. Wester dives to the end zone. Lejante Wester is, what are they ruling? Touchback, he fumbled at the goal line. Perry throws to the end zone. Edron makes the catch, touchdown FAU. What a catch by Jamal Edron. 18 yards from Nikosi Perry, and FAU has a lead for the first time tonight. Nikosi Perry dials it up at the line of scrimmage, identifies man-to-man -man coverage, has confidence in his receiver. McMahon out of the gun, fakes to Broussard, throws toward the back of the end zone, and that is broken up. Armani Eli Adams, and then on the deflection, it's Dwight Toombs with the pick. How about that? On the field is an interception by the, by the defense. Wow. First down, Florida. Riley Thompson to punt. Sean Fresh back to receive. Line drive kick. Fresh at his own 23. 
Got away from the first tackler. Trying to get to the edge, and he does. Fresh at the 40, 45, cuts back at midfield, and he's in FAU territory. Fake to Montgomery. McMahon lofts it deep. Down the middle of the field, and that is intercepted at the goal line. Armani Eli Adams comes away with the football. Third interception of the game for FAU. And that's a mistake by McMahon. FAU rushes four, a throw to the outside is tipped and incomplete. FAU takes over on downs. The smoke smoke Mungin got a hand on it. He has an interception tonight and now a pass breakup. And Rice with no timeouts cannot stop the clock any further.